Like I held the fastball like this, change up like this, and then the drop is also like the curves. 17 year old softball pitcher Mia Fayetta shows us the weapons in her arsenal after completing a remarkable three no hitters in a row to finish the regular season at Cedar Grove High School. Two games were called early under a mercy rule. The third went the full seven innings, a perfect game. Playoffs are next. She's trying to stay cool. It just kind of like happens. Some games doesn't, but. I mean, I just don't want to think about it. Mia's a varsity warrior with no game face, only a pleasant smile and smoking fast speed. She's a sophomore. Her regular catcher is a freshman who has had some adjustments to make. I know what pitches do, certain where it hits, where it doesn't, so I'm not that afraid of it anymore. The velocity is coming very fast, and it's frightening at times, but it's very fast. Turns out Mia is a second generation softball star in this town. Her mom, part of that championship season of 1984, which was just 12 years after federal Title IX legislation opened up the universe of girls' high school sports. Times have changed for the better. She was a shortstop. Was your mom good? Yes. Mm -hmm. And she told me how to pitch. We were called the Lady Panthers. I think now we're just called the Panthers, you know, because, you know, Cedar Grove are the Panthers. Why should we be the Lady Panthers? You know, it should be no different. People come to see you play, you know, and they come expect a good, a good game. Like mother, like daughter. So where does it lead? Hoping I take it to college. I want to play Division One softball. Schools are already sniffing around. Yeah, yeah, we have some, <laughs> we have some sniffing. One thing that is sure to intensify in the coming year. We're in Cedar Grove, New Jersey, Essex County. Lou Young, CBS 2 News.